You're watching the Skateboarding Bros Show. Stories from the pioneers of skateboarding about the history and the fun of the sport we love. Hello, thanks for sitting in with the Skateboarding Bros Show. This is Season 2, Episode 2 with Jimmy Marcus. And we've got Dave Adams and George McClellan somewhere in ether space. And we're going to be talking all about uh, the scene in California and Clearwater and everything. And then we're going to bring it on back and talk some more. Thank you very much for watching, like, and share, and follow, and comment, and whatever else you want to do with it. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Well, I pulled up a couple of things here. Hold on. I'm going to try to find something in particular. Hold on. Uh -oh. uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to read coping block for a while. <laughs> that wouldn't take very long. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Hold on. We're going to share this one here. Big hand right there. Uh, a shout out to Cleo. Come on. Nice job, Cleo. Cleo. All right, Jay. This is some throwback. Where's this? <clears throat> Clearwater. Dolphin's blood. It. Can everybody see it? Absolutely, yeah. So That's interesting. Here. Yeah. Here's here's Jimmy talking with uh, Tony Alva, and uh, a few others. But you know, so Jimmy, do you remember? You remember any of this rolling at uh, the uh, that the fun and sun contest? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I I do. Oh, where's that at? I don't. Oh, this is a basin. sensation basin. It's a basin, yeah. So yes. back it up to the slalom stuff. Yeah. The slalom. Yeah, I do remember. So there's that. there's um, TA going, hey man, you're a ripper, bro. It's funny because I got a photo with TA and uh Shogo Misha. Rest in peace, buddy. Um who else? Oh, and uh Jim McCall, I got a photo. Um that, that Clip? No, I definitely don't remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember that bowl, though, trying, like, man, my heart is just to get to the top, man. It was like, you just well, didn't have any. A couple, there was a couple. Is That's the. There's it, Ray Diaz. Okay, that's the bowl that comes right down, and it just ends like a capsule, right? Yeah. Kind of holy cow! <laughs> That's pushing as hard as oh, and there's the snake run for fuck's sake. Oh, to, so that was the day I was just getting up there higher. Like I was telling you guys before. Oh, oh yeah, Kelly, eat your heart out on that one, buddy. Whoa. 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 Well, the slalom is a so slalom. You're kick turning. I you're know. fucking. Kick it was one of those turning a slalom board. <laughs> Man, if I would have just seen, paid attention to you guys a little bit more on that one. Um, yeah. That, hey, that we really practiced, cool. man. We practiced. We did. Wow, that's a good, look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's a great setup. I like that setup right there. It's like ah. kind of double, double, double. Then you get tight at the end right there. Wow. That was a GBM special. I laid that course out. Is so well great. done. Thank you. But uh, you were probably, do you recall the board that you were on? Was that a flight? Flight was making those uh, this, uh, double ender uh, slalom boards. The, was that a radical? Did, did, did Sundance do a um, slalom board? Sundance, that's what it was. Yeah. 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 I think it was Sundance. I can't remember the trucks, wheels. Oh, man. They were yeah. different color, blue. They probably. I mean, well, it was power, power flex. flex, right? Power flex. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ah, yes. Well, it, speaking of the, a little bit of slalom, <laughs> I wasn't like I wasn't too sure of that, man. You know, because it, it it was really fun because the team. Well, let's we'll, we'll stick to the slalom. I, I wasn't too sure about it. My dad always laughed at me. He's like, "Yeah, you weren't too sure about that slalom stuff." And uh, there's a photo of me, and my mom is pointing. And it looks like she's kind of like yelling at me. Like uh, people would always say, are we yelling at Jimmy? She's like, no, I'm just telling him he has to, you got, you got to go through the cones. You got to do like this because I wasn't too sure what was going on. 
because, you know, we were just riding this, the ramp and the bowl and everything at the park, you know, so the slalom <laughs> was a little, little something new, you know. A little, little different, yeah, kind of different. So this was, you were six, seven, eight around in there? Yeah, that's, yeah, seven, yeah, six early, yeah, yep, yeah, and uh -huh. seven, and kind of eight at the end when everything started to sh um, shut down, unfortunately. Well, but uh, did right there. I'm glad you got a photo of that. That's pretty sick too, right there. That was that's wasn't that's I mean high school or something. That, that, exactly the demo at Dunedin High School. Yeah, look at the cars in the background. There's some classics. There's got the some... Cutlass there. Got a Mustang. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Good stuff right there. That. That's so, like, yeah. who, who built that thing? Did you did you build that thing, George? What was I think that? that's Dick Yantis. Dick Yantis probably built that. Yep. And uh, that was transportable, and he was a fun little uh, master engineer with uh, with wood. So if you look at the stuff going on, who's got the vans on? Of course, the California boy, rocking <laughs> his red red and blue vans. <laughs> But uh, the rest of us have got our freaking, you know, we're the sweaty, unwashed masses still wearing Converse All-Stars. <laughs> so if you look at those boards, so I'm pretty sure I was on a, uh, I don't even know, maybe as, I don't think Z Woodies were out then. Then that was some fucking generic, maybe a walker is what that is. But Dave, do you know, know what board that is that you're on? I think it's Santa Cruz. Probably Santa Cruz, yeah, the Santa Cruz with the power flex wheels. Exactly. And Jimmy, were you on uh, uh, cut down Markel? Cut. Oh, yep. You, <laughs> yes, you took the word out of my mouth. Yeah. Okay. Those were I'm so great. Sure. You cut yeah. the Markel behind the front truck, so to be short enough for you to ride. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I'm looking at that two by four, and this day you guys are going to just go right up to that. That that two by that board right there, you go. That's where you go. Oh, well, we're all up to the very top. <laughs> we're all coming down fakey, you know. Fucking might as well. Okay, just yeah. just go backwards onto a parking lot. And uh, this was this was Wadatol. George and I just peeled out and gave Jimmy as much room as we could. <laughs> I know you're on the edge, Dave. Like, oh yeah. Oh. And the, uh, yeah, the lovely helmets there. We got Norcon. I think I'm wearing a bike riding helmet. That was a sport cap bike riding helmet. But anyway, so there's there's the roots. That's now, Tim, if you want to take us into what happened uh, a little bit later. Hey, so Jimmy, I, I, there was a, a story of you showing up in California and uh, kind of showing up, I think it was Belmer's. Yeah, you were telling me uh, about that, that, that crail jar that you, or that crail that, photo that you, showed me oh yeah yeah doing showing yeah, up with I, doing, doing head high head high crail body jars oh. <laughs> and people were like who the fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a, yeah that was at the beginning getting out there and um i was staying with my buddy turtle and mike and he was taking a lot of photos of us we'd hit a bunch of backyard pools jungle pool just everything hitting everything and uh you know kelly's that was always a go and I've never, I seen it a couple of times and everybody was there. It's like Aaron, Peter, all, just all the guys, all the boys that I, I grew up in, in, in my area, you know, the eighties into nineties, all that good stuff. Cause we're all the same age. He skated all that. And all that. How did you, how did you end up? How'd you decide to go to California? Well, that, that was, uh, well, I had some friends that already, well, I always wanted to go as a kid. I mean, skate, skateboarding, we seen it, you know, and we always seen it and wanted to get some and surfing too, you know, growing up in Florida, love, love uh, surfing and all that good stuff. But um, getting out of school, I was like, yeah, got to get out there. Friend, I had some friends out in Huntington that were already out there. So I was like, well, I might as well get out there. And uh, that helped out a little bit to get the, uh, get my name going a little bit more solidified a little bit, you know, and, uh, Were you writing for anyone at that point? Uh, initially when I got out to California, um, uh, I forgot who I was getting boards from when I 
was going out there, I forgot. Um, but when I got out there, Trillo, right, scum, was basically nice. I ran in Trillo kind of right away. Um, yeah. New bull backyard somewhere, whatever, and uh, and then hooked that up. Scum was the early uh, early go. But yeah, Belmars is always always fun. Everybody just showing up, and I don't know, I just did, you know, just just ride, man. We had a good time. Just uh, just had to blast the big old trail jar over the um, sidewall, over the uh, death box. That was fun. <laughs> My buddy Donnie, he took a open some eyes. He took a photo from the um, deep end and it's looking um, towards the shallow, towards the rolling. So everybody's kind of lined up. Everybody's with pads on. My buddy Turtle always talks shit about it. He laughs about it. He's all look at that Greek all of them dudes in the background. They fucking got their pads on and they're fucking you, you, you just just killing it. You just see me start going off. I laugh at it. But, but uh, yeah, it was fun. Kelly's, that was a good time. Kelly's awesome. and uh, you, know, you know, that there was uh, no bailout there, you know, you just roll in. <laughs> you're, in you're in there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Excellent. So then what, what time period was this? Uh, 96 is when I uh, initially went out there. I, my, my friend uh, Bill Tomlin was already out there and was friends with Mike Schumacher, Shuey, that uh, owned Counterculture. So when I got out there, it was pretty cool. I, I hooked up hooked up with him, packed some boxes there, was hanging out. It was good to get a job because you know it's tough going across the country. And yeah. uh, you know, it's you know, shit, hopefully I get something going. And uh got, got out there and uh that happened started for a little bit and then he sold it, merged the 26 red or did some shit, merged in with some other company, so they had to let me go and I called up a buddy of mine. Uh, Paul Lewis, that was a uh, sales rep at Benny's, and uh, I went I went down there. Audio actually helped me out. That worked at Benny's. He said, "Yeah, come on down." That was when Muska and Costin. That was that early, uh, yeah, Jewelry model coming out. I mean, not as had one, but this is when it really took off. So containers were coming in. It was crazy, and I was twenty or something five I was a young I already kind of worked I knew what was up so they all these containers came in I started working there and uh because I wasn't I wasn't pro when I moved out to California right I skated in pro contests you know could I wasn't skating amateur I mean I just right I had to skate pro it's like we'd watch you guys and when I was younger, you know, it's like, well, um, I want to go skate with those dudes. Those guys are ripping. I mean, I want to try to see what you guys are doing and whatever. Like, I probably went to the park and hung out with a couple kids, but I'm sure hopefully I was trying to look for you guys and trying to <laughs> get in there and get, you know, try to see what was really going on, you know. But uh, Get some love. So did you uh... – was there a big pro contest scene then, or was it more street stuff? Was there was there actually? They were, they were doing yeah, they were doing all that. They were starting all the bull stuff. You know, they had stuff at Marseille. I didn't go to the early Marseille stuff. Um, they had stuff in Marseille. And they were doing bull riders. Um, Fuck! I bet you would have killed Marseille. That's made for you. Well, I, I I eventually went out there, and I actually went a couple of years ago. Well, two right before um, COVID started. I went out there and um, judged. Nice. Pretty cool. Jeremy asked, um, invited me out there to uh, judge, which was pretty cool because it was like right about 10 years since I've been there. So it's pretty cool. I so can't what we got here. So what we got here is we got the Greek riding at a boat, uh, we call it Nichols film from 2003 called Northwest. Oh, there you go. That's cool. Yeah, Rick and hey. Rick and oh, Buddy. Wow. Rick, oh. buddy. Ouch, that's not trivial. Okay, yeah, so this is Lincoln. Ago. This is Lincoln City Park. I've been there. Yeah, that was a while ago. It's fucking, it's big. It's a lot. This is so fucking big. It's a lot bigger than it looks. So yeah. here we got, unfortunately, we got Benji Galloway in there. Yeah. I say unfortunately, but maybe yeah. Yeah, Benji. 
<laughs> yeah, we were we rode uh, with Scum together. We were teammates of Scum. That's what I should say. But uh, yeah, we went out a couple demos, Alaska. Then has got a bag of tricks the size of Texas. Yeah, yeah he. Yeah, Benji will. He. It's funny. He, he'll get. A, he'll get. He'll get it going. Run or something. If it doesn't work, then you know, like this. You know, if he's got three or whatever, you know that third one or something's going to happen. He's going to be <laughs> right. run. <laughs> Guarantee. <laughs> You're like, ah, shit. <clears throat> I'm like, man, I forgot what I was even going to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. He has a way of doing that. I, I never was a plan the run type of guy. Where the hell are you at here, Greek? After the third, fourth wall. Fuck, I forget. Yeah. Oh, here we go. What was, what was I going to do? A, there we go. Yeah, just roll back. <laughs> yeah. Dreaded Texas plant. I'm lying in it. Jimmy, tell, tell, tell people who are watching this thing that you don't plan your way out. You you just, when you dro drop in, you just come up with something. So it's not a pre-planned deal here. Mm, not really, no. Not at all, Phil. Some, like I said, at the beginning, to get it going, and then I'll try to feed off of that, actually, kind of, and kind of, well, just try to throw whatever, hope it hope you land it you know but <clears throat> no never really a whole run right. uh, for the up and comers just uh, don't sweat it out the night before just believe in yourself and just go for it is that, is that your... well, yeah yeah i mean yeah the night before yeah just don't <laughs> blow it by like uh staying up too late and all that type of stuff you know playing video games whatever you like to do but um <laughs> yeah, just, I, just, I, you, you always you always get you always get nervous. No matter you guys know you got whoa well, yeah that was getting out of there. You always get nervous, Phil. You know you get butterflies and you, you think you you get you got it because you've been doing it for so long. But you st you, you still get the little butterflies and um say so you just try to keep it cool and keep it mellow and try to if if you're not feeling the place, I mean. You know, try to give it the best you can. I noticed in the Olympics and the others, they the they had a, a one their big trick, and they were able to pull that off at some point. Uh, talk yeah. about that. Well, absolutely, because that first one, try to feel it out and see what they got going. You'll you'll kind of look at the score and see where that's where that's sitting at, and try to get yourself into that position and and feel how you're feeling on that run. Um, cause you usually, I think a couple more, um, on some of those bigger contests or turn sometimes at jam in the, um, order format. So what was your, what was your crowd pleaser trick? <laughs> that was just survival, Georgie. He made it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, no, I really, I, I liked, I like really throwing like back lip slides in little different areas corners and stuff um in in different areas like that um front side invert was always fun yeah um, but uh and he's one of the few people in the world that just, actually do a, do a proper fall guy <laughs> <laughs> oh well yeah we can go on about you yeah. know how we talked about before <laughs> about people naming tricks and <laughs> skateboarders that me play a skateboard but they kind of call the trick wrong you're like well hell i thought you fucking skate but <laughs> <laughs> you're going you're calling them front side air in the back side oh, yeah. grabs. like what are you doing a switch but, yeah exactly <laughs> well, let's explain the fall guy there may be people here that's because there isn't that's kind of something like a phillips 66 or a phillips 33 you know those are those are tricks that not a whole lot of people are doing but uh so yeah i think yeah neil talked about that one that yeah that, he made that one up he was like dreaming about that one or something it's like um yeah just coming fakey but you kind of jam the nose down your foot can kind of cheat a little bit did i say that but you want to keep it on the nose and it's just a and and pull back in you end up landing a little low um but uh but it's a blunt it's a fakey blunt Yes. Fakie, fakie fakie, fakie, yes, fakie hand plant blunt. Yes, fakie 
I'm goofy foot. So yes, fakey pop out. Yeah. And you're kind of grabbing front side air and you're, yeah. Fakey front side invert position, you know, jam the nose and, and pull back in. And how's that different from a woolly mammoth? Both well, that, that is the woolly mammoth. Oh, right. the front I, I, I was like, aren't oh, those <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Tim. That's why Mott, I love him. He yeah, exactly. He, he, he keeps, keeps it going. That one, I saw Lance Mountain do those one and i i, I kind of got into that i kind of got into those yeah that's just straight front side straight. invert too blunt and, and no, too fakey and into fakey back to fakey front side invert and back to fakey you okay. gotta kind of you gotta kind of push off no thanks and push with your arm off of it but it's it's a good one it's it's <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a it's a sketchy one that's where i um I actually uh, broke my elbow at Lincoln City doing that one. I clipped it. I came in. I was a little too tired, and I I came back in, and I the my the nose hit clip, and I went that way straight to elbow to the flat. Like I just met the bottom and looked. I was like, oh. well, yeah. What, what do you have as as a remembrance of that? Oh, that a specific specific tattoo. <laughs> yeah, a uh, little alligator right there <laughs> reminded me of it. What kind of trucks? What kind Indies? of trucks? Indies? Ace. Ace. Forever? Ace. No. Well, forever now. Forever now. Um, but uh, Indy. Indy before Ace. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Indy. Front and, side and or back side? You know, Joey went, Joey went, um, what was that? Front side or back side? Um, front side. Right. I want to jump in when other people are coming in, you know, how to ask a question, just say something here and there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, instant special guest. There That's is Derek. Great. That is great. I and just, so next next time we're going to talk to Dave Adams a lot more. He's coming right in. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, there you go. I'm going to wrap this up and then we're going to do this again. We're going to get Gomez to tell us his story and have you still here with us. Okay. So yeah, um, no, I'm down to sit in and chime in and talk some shit. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear talking <laughs> shit. That's the best. That's hey, thanks, best. Jimmy. That was great. Thanks, and, uh, Dave, this was a fun show because uh, you guys brought some new stuff that I know nothing about. And uh, and I know Ed, he only had a two year life in his brain. Anyhow, I got so nothing. Know nothing. But this, this, was, this was fun. Thank yeah. you for watching the Skateboarding Bros Show. This is season two, episode two, with Jimmy Marcus, Dave Adams, Tim Mott, George McClellan, and Phil Kiyokio with the uh, bonnet on. And like and share us on YouTube. And we appreciate it. There's actually a website, skateboardingbros.com. Come on and look at that too. We appreciate it. And uh, keep skating. Thank you, skateboarding. Peace. You're watching the Skateboarding Bros Show. Stories from the pioneers of skateboarding about the history and the fun of the sport we love.